And it was also a cultural shift to happening when young youth took over rebellious and- well no but just youth took i mean the movies were not about kids up to that point really and then they discovered in the early 80s my god these kids go to the movies five six seven times grown-ups go once let's make movies for kids and we were right there at the right place at the right time you know and so then john hughes comes along and says oh wait young kids emotions should be taken seriously um and you know because nobody's when you're 17, 18, you fall in love for the first time, you are the first person to ever be in love, right? And <laughs> yes. so, and that first heartbreak is the first heartbreak ever. Oh. And is ma- the magnitude of it, and John Hughes knew that and honored that. And so kids saw that and went, that's me, you know? And that's why generation, the next generation, those, those women have shown their daughters and their daughters looking at that movie and going, pretty in pink and going, the hairdos are funny, but that's me, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so that's why they live on in that way. And to sort of, you know, for me to come to represent that's a beautiful thing. But I always kind of, not always. But I never looked at it like that. Like, I've, no. But now I hear People you, I'm like, of course. Did you? That's so interesting. It's like, yeah, you, you, you didn't realize the impact it had on you guys. It sounds so cool now. And to yeah. everybody on the outside looking in, I want to be the Brat Pack. But I could I could see how it was just sort of like, fuck, I'm yeah. more than that. Yeah, or I'm other than that. Just, yes, I'm, I'm, yes. I am more than, you know, that's, yeah. And for someone like me, who I was a, very much, a, you know, a solitary person, a loner a bit. So to be slumped in with all these guys who I liked fine, but I didn't know them. I don't think I ever went out socially with any of them ever. You know, so, Really? So you never, you were... On these movies, on these huge movies. Well, I lived movies. in New York, and so I would just, whatever. It's, but Did you get close with anybody? Yeah, I mean, I liked them, but I mean, no. But you never no, said, No, I never hey, stayed in touch with out. any of them. No. Yeah, because I saw the article yesterday that came out, or the other day, um, about Emilio Estevez. You hadn't seen him in 30 years. Yeah, I hadn't seen any of them. I made a documentary recently about this because I wrote a book a few years ago about my time then, my life then, and because I was like, it was a rock I'd never looked under, and so... I decided to look under it and I like, that's how I came to the position that I've sort of was just talking about how I've come to realize what a beautiful thing it is and what I'm blessed in that way, really, truly. And then, with the, but I didn't feel that way. And so I thought that, okay, I had a size, that was a seismic event in my life, the Brad Pack. What was it like for everyone else? Cause I know it was for them too, because we were in the same boat. We're, we're members of a club we didn't ask to join and we have, we can just look at each other and kind of go, Hey, dude. And we just know. And so I went back and talked to everybody who Emilio hadn't seen 30 years. Rob hadn't seen 30 years. Demi, you know, any Ali Sheedy. I hadn't seen any of them. And to just get their take on it. And it was really interesting.